It's a beautiful day in Dulac, Louisiana. The shrimp boats that are coming in are busy picking up ice and dropping off shrimp. If you look closer, though, you can see signs of Hurricane Ida, which hit less than six months ago here. Kim Chauvin says, like many in this area, that experience was one of the worst of her life. We stayed because I had COVID. We stayed in our home. And um, right after Ida hit, I was hospitalized uh, for about a week. So my husband was probably um, probably the most overwhelmed in his entire life at that point. David Chauvin is still busy. He takes time out of managing to help unload the boats that come in to unload shrimp. Bringing in shrimp hasn't been much of an issue as making ice, critical to both loading onto the boats before they go out and in preserving the shrimp at the dock. Hurricane Ida triage, right? What can we fix? What can we get working as soon as possible? Uh, our number one goal was to start producing ice again because without ice, uh, the fishermen can't go out and catch the shrimp. And that was a challenging, uh, you know, all on its own. The study of the damage from recent hurricanes on aquaculture showed $580 billion of direct impact on the state. That damage is likely much more extensive when indirect impacts are taken into account, according to Louisiana Sea Grants, Dr. Julie Lively. And it's really just looking at the direct infrastructure, the direct revenue, and the direct actual biological loss. Um, but even when I say biological loss, it does not include any crabs or shrimp. It's mostly fin fish and oysters um, because we just don't have a great way to measure those losses. Those indirect impacts are seen every day here in Dulac. Kim Chauvin says whether there are shrimpers or dock workers, everyone here is still rebuilding even as they're trying to conduct business as usual. You don't know if their boat sank. You don't know if uh, they were able to recoup them or if it was a total loss. Um, there's not an understanding of that at this point, and you don't know how many seafood docks have been absolutely decimated to the cement, and there's a lot of them. Nearly five months after Hurricane Ida came roaring through this community, the damage from it can still be seen. If you look over my left shoulder, blue tarps like the one on that house back there still serve as roofs from many of the places here in this community. And as Mardi Gras season gets kicked off here and many folks think about the tourists coming in for classical Louisiana meals like seafood gumbo and shrimp po'boys, the people providing ingredients for those meals are still suffering. Reporting from Dulac, Louisiana, I'm Neil Malasong. Many in the industry are hoping to use the study of damages to Louisiana's aquaculture for more federal assistance, especially since there is no commodity program for Louisiana seafood like there are for row crops. In the meantime, some small relief will be available for shrimpers and fishermen just in time for the Super Bowl. On Sunday, February 13th, an event called Feed the Fleet will be held in Golden Meadow at the Park Pavilion beginning at noon. All commercial fishermen and charter industry personnel are invited to attend. Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser is expected to be on hand, as well as Louisiana Sea Grant, which will have information on applying for hurricane assistance and other aid. We'll have more on this event on our website at twilatv.org.